Hello and welcome. Uh, read this problem, try it out, solve it on your own, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so we've got this is a distance, rate, and time problem. So I'm, I'm going to set up a little table right here. I like to do that when I can. I'm going to say that my rate, whatever their rates are, and their times, I'm going to remind myself rate times time is distance. So there's a couple of components to this problem. we got Anthony, he's traveling, and we've got Helen, she's traveling. Anthony leaves at 2 p.m. and drives to Queensville, 160 miles distant at 45 miles per hour. So his rate is 45. How much time will he travel? I don't know. T time, right? Because remember, you, he's not going the full 160. He's going some amount to meet her. Right? It says Helen leaves at a different time. She travels at a different rate. We don't know when do they meet in the middle, right? So her time is going to be, well, he left. You know, the amount of time from when he left is T, when they meet, but she is leaving later, a quarter of an hour later. So it's the time minus a quarter, right, if our time is in hours. Now, the distance, of course, it's not, it's not 160. We don't know where the distances are. It's just whatever 45 times T and 40 times T minus a fourth would be. That, those are their distances. And the key to realize is that if we take the total distance that... Anthony travels and add to the distance that Helen travels, that we get 160. Why do we know that? Because they're meeting somewhere in the middle. So wherever they meet, draw a little diagram right here. This is a lame diagram, I guess, but Kingstown and Queensville. You know, if he's going, let's say, here, he's a, he's a little bit faster and he leaves earlier. So I'm going to assume he's going to cover more distance. So this is the distance that Anthony goes. Well, she's got to go some distance as well to get there. But if we add these two distances up, it's always going to be the full distance between Kingstown and Queensville. It's always 160. Anywhere you go is the total distance. So now we just solve for t, right? So this problem we get um, 45t. Distribute the 40 is 40t minus a fourth of 40, which is 10, equals 160. That's 95t equals 170, and t is 2. So that means it's two hours from when he left. He left at 2 p.m., so it's two hours later. They'll meet at 4 p.m. All right, hope this helped.